The FDA and CDC have authorized and recommended a second COVID-19 booster vaccine for all adults 50 and above without holding their advisory committee meetings. Vaccine expert Dr. Paul Offit has expressed the possibility that repeatedly training the immune system to fight the original virus could reduce the effectiveness of a variant-specific booster in the future. This is called immune imprinting, or original antigenic sin. Let's explore what immune imprinting is and what evidence is leading us to believe the boosters may be a trap for our future immunity. I'm Dr. Han, and welcome to my classroom. What is Original Antigenic Sin, or OAS? OAS is a type of immune imprinting, or a type of immunological memory. The first time our body is exposed to a pathogen, for example the flu virus, our adaptive immune system will react and remember the specifics of this virus, like an imprint. The next time we encounter the flu virus, our adaptive immune system remembers this imprint and quickly produce antibodies to neutralize it. But there is a big catch because there are multiple different strains of flu viruses. When we are young, we develop an imprint of the most frequent flu virus strain at the time. When we are infected later in life, our immune system goes back to the imprint we first learned. If this strain is similar to the imprinted strain, we would have no problem clearing this virus. But if it is a different strain, the antibody generated would not work as well and the risk of infection would increase. Could this happen with the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus and the COVID vaccine? This is possible to happen because we have seen OAS with other viruses and in flu and HPV vaccines. If the new strain is very different than the imprinted strain, our immune system may not work well to give you enough protection. What does the science say? A research group reported that monkeys with a beta-specific or Omicron-specific booster had no extra protection compared to the regular booster. This result was unexpected because Omicron has 32 mutation on its spike protein compared to the original strain, so OAS may be the reason for this to happen. At the beginning of April, a team from BioNTech released a preprint study evaluating three vaccines doses plus infection compared to the two doses plus infection. They find out Omicron breakthrough infection produced a strong B memory cell response and expanded the early immune imprint, but the majority of the memory B cells were still dosed from the original vaccine. We still have some unanswered questions. The most recent BNT study was quite intriguing that it suggested the Omicron breakthrough had provided robust hybrid immunity. It is estimated that about 70 to 80 percent of Americans are now immune to the Omicron variant due to recent primary infection, reinfection, or breakthrough infections. If this estimation is true and combined with the recent BNT study, then the need for a fourth dose of the original vaccine may only be for the most vulnerable population. The biggest questions are what to expect in the fall, what kind of booster, when to get it, and who should get it. The FDA Vaccine Advisory Committee will meet again in June to tackle these questions. Thank you very much for all of your support. Now, right now, I'm working on a new project for my side hustle business. So my videos may be shorter uh, than what I had produced in the past. And you may have also noticed that I'm trying different new styles for my content. I understand some of you may not like my new style, but nevertheless, this channel is moving out or moving away from the COVID-19 niche and into a broader health science content topic. Now, if you would like to learn more about these broader health topics, then I hope to see you again next week and in the future. 
Again, thank you very much for watching, and if you think I've earned it, please hit the like and leave me a comment so that more people can learn about this content. And meanwhile, please stay safe, stay healthy, and I hope to see you again next week. Please take care. Bye.